What's up, everybody? So this video is about NoDemon. NoDemon is a tool that allows you to automate the restarting of your Node server whenever you're developing an application. This comes in handy whenever you're writing code really fast or just trying to stay focused on writing the code and not wanting to worry about having to go back and restart your Node server every time you make a change to one of the backend files. So an example of this would be instead of running Node app.js, you would just run NoDemon. And what this will do is the same thing as node app.js. In fact, you'll see it says starting node app.js. By the way, you can disregard that deprecation warning. I'm just using a random application on my computer. In any event, you can see that it starts node app.js and it's doing that because of package JSON. So you can see that the start script right here is for node app.js. And this is not a package that you will install to your project. What you'll do is you're gonna run npm i g no daemon and hit enter. And so the i is for install, the dash g is for global. It's gonna install it all the way across your computer, or in the case of Cloud9, it'll put it on that server and that computer. And that way you can use that no daemon command anywhere from any node project. So now with it updated or installed in my case, you just run no daemon and hit enter. So if you see an error about index.js, it's because in here in your package JSON, you have your main set to index.js, but then you have your main file as app.js. So make sure that if you're using app.js, which we are in our projects, in package JSON, your main is set to app.js as well. That way you can just type in no daemon by itself and you don't have to pass in app.js or whatever the name of your main server file is. So that's it. I mean, basically, if you change something, let's say we go to routes and we go in here, and I'll just put this side by side and we just add something and we save it then you'll see the server restarts itself automatically now obviously it broke right here and so when you run into an error like this and then you go fix it it'll restart it for you and now we're running again and so the whole time that can be running in the background you're over here just running back and forth between your code and your application and you're not worried about having to go back and forth from your terminal shutting it down restarting so that's it no daemon, check it out, npmi g no daemon, and then just run it with no daemon from your project folder. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next video.